Greetings, salutations, and welcome to another video. Now, as promised, I have inserted my PTFE runners uh, onto the Hephaestus. So you can see that little white thing, that's a bit of PTFE um, rod that's basically sided along the V-groove instead of the wheels. Uh, and we are currently doing our first print on here. This is a little QR code um, key fob that I designed, and the QR code takes you to my uh, 3D hubs. So we'll print that off because obviously it's quite challenging. It does the basic simple shapes like this and uh, that'll get us a good idea of how well these run on that. But then the QR code itself is a very complex and very quickly made piece with very, very small and minute details. So it's a good way to test that that's working too. So I've just uh, swapped out the filament for this green and I'm going to press resume and we shall see how it goes. So, giving it a quick appraisal, uh, a few small print issues like that under extrusion there and that slight warping, but this is an old stock file. Um, I mean, this is file I made in the previous generation of my setup and haven't updated since, so it's not perfect for the prints I do now. Um, but we're not focusing on that. We are focusing on how well it did mainly the top surface as well as everything else. Now the repeatability looks to be rather good. We've got slight ringing, so I'll tighten up the belts and mess with the acceleration settings. But repeatability is good. That curve came out nicely and the top came out perfectly and just as the others did, including even uh, the slight stringing that I just cannot avoid on this tiny print. So, uh, yeah, that's a success. These work. And yeah, I hope that's been informative. Um, it's basically just a 10 millimeter thick PTFE tube. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find a piece of scrap. Here's an offcut. Yeah, it's basically a tube like this, uh, sorry, rod like this made out of PTFE. You can buy them on eBay a length of 250 for about eight to 10 pounds. And I have, uh, 25 millimeter long segments in here here and underneath and On the top surface they're just housed within this but on the bottom I've been using craft foam to provide some shock absorption and push it up Against this without there being you know too much slack like there could be with the v-wheels on a completely solid system So that's that uh, if you think this is worth trying out for how cheap it is or how clean and easy it is then please do go ahead, uh, let me know how it goes, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time. Goodbye.